What's up YouTube? This video is brought to you by Weebull. If you'd like to help out the channel and get some free stock, make sure you check out my link below. Hey, I'm Chris Sane. If you're new here, I make videos on personal finance and how to invest and build wealth through the stock market. Today's video is about how to sell puts on Robinhood. And listen, we call this Operation Easy Money. I'm gonna show you guys how to make $50 to $100 a week guaranteed. And so follow along on the journey. And if you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe and let me know in the comments. As you can see, my portfolio is currently sitting at $27,629.98. On the week, we not up much. I mean, on the day, we're not up much. On the week, down a little over 1%. On the month, we are up a little over 8%. And if I take you guys three months out, we are up over five and a half percent. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to trade options and I'm gonna do it and teach you guys in a way where everybody can eat and everybody can win. So without further ado, let's get into it. So check it out. When selling put options, it's important to pick a company that has consistent growth. So check out this five year chart and if you can see, this stock here we have is Nike. Nike is one that everybody sleeps on. If you look at it, it's consistently trending upwards. That's what you want to look for when you are trading options. I'm going to give you guys some other stocks that you can trade it for easy money as well. But Nike is one of the easiest in the game to really make a hundred dollars a week. With that being said, pick a company that you wouldn't mind owning if all went bad and you were stuck holding 100 shares. And so that's why it's important if you follow my channel, I teach you guys to invest in companies that you like as opposed to just picking anything. And when you guys graduate from stocks to trading options, it's really important to pick a company that you like because if you happen to miss, you gotta hold those 100 shares. And in my case, I don't mind holding Nike because if you know me, I go to the gym every morning at 5 a.m and what am i rocking my drip is always nike so let's go to trade options hit trade trade options and because we are selling a put we got to make sure that we hit sell and then we want to make sure we hit put if you guys look at this nike is currently 98 dollars and 58 cent now i know all stocks like the back of my hand and so this is important as you guys get more uh deeper into your investments you guys got to know how to study stocks know what they do know how they move know when they go up know what makes them go down just know the rhythm of how the stocks that you like play at $98.58 I can pretty much tell you what Nike is going to do and so if you take it here I'm going to set a put for $95. And if you look here at $95, then you gotta choose your expiration date. So here, I'm about to hit June 5th on this one, okay? I'm hitting June 5th, so follow my screen. That's the expiration date that I set. And you always wanna pick one that's the closest because that is how you maximize your monthly earning potential. Remember, there are only four expiration dates for most companies in a month. And so on this one, Nike has June 5th, June 12th, June 19th, and June 26th. For this, we're gonna choose June 5th because we're gonna make $100 or 50 to $100 by Friday. So here, like I told you, Nike is $98.58. We're gonna pick a strike price. And the strike price that I want you guys to pick for this one is $95. So scroll down find Nike for $95. That's our strike price. So what we are essentially saying is that Nike will not drop below $95. And so let's get this easy money. Let's go ahead and make 50 to hundred dollars right now. What you're going to do is you're going to hit this 58 cent. Remember everything is a hundred shares. And so when you put this one in here, did you see that 58 cent? If you look at my minimum credit, it now drops down to $58. So this is how you make 50 to $100 a week, just like this. You wanna put your limit price in at 58 cent. And so if you look at this, right now, the minimum credit is what you guys will get for putting a, putting a contract in on this put. And you are betting that the stock won't go down by the expiration date, which we chose, which was June 5th by four o'clock PM. 
Nike is pretty strong. I told you I know this stock as well as all the other stock like the back of my hands. If anything, it might come to 95.50, it might come to 96.30, but it won't drop down below $95. And that's how you can almost guarantee yourself an easy win, which we call easy money by Friday, but we always sell before the expiration date. Remember one contract equals 100 shares. So keep in mind, you will receive a minimum of $58, okay? But in order to receive $58, you must have collateral. In this case, collateral is cash because you're selling a put. And with cash, you must have at least $9,500 because we said that we are selling a put for $95 and the stock won't go below $95, okay? And so you gotta have at least $9,500 in your account in order for you to get the 58. However, when you get that $58, you can use that to buy more stock or you can cash out and do whatever you want with it. But remember when selling a put, you need that collateral because if you don't have it, your order will not go through. So on the expiration date, which we chose was June 5th, by four o'clock, if the stock don't drop below $95, you hit the jackpot, you won, okay? So that's just how simple this is. If it don't drop below $95, if it go to 96, 95, 50, 97, any of those numbers, you win not only the $58, but you also get your $9,500 back. And so that would just have made you $58 richer. Now, what happens if we pick 95 as our strike price and Nike drops below 95 in the rare case that it does? Okay, no problem. If it drops below the $95 strike price that we set, all that means is you now have to buy 100 shares of Nike at the price it dropped to. So let's say it dropped to $93. You have to buy the stock at 95 because you said in your put contract that it wouldn't go below 95. And so now that the stock price is 93, you don't get the cheaper price at 93. You have to buy the 100 shares or the $9,500 collateral at the $95 point price point. Again, this is not a bad thing when you trade with companies that you like. In this case, I'm a Nike guy, so even if I missed on this, I very seldom miss because I do the research, but even if I miss, I'm okay with owning 100 shares of Nike. Why? Because I can tell you guys this, Nike gonna go to 100, and it's gonna hit 103, and then it's gonna hit 105. I can sell at either one of those price points, make all my money back, or make a killing if I choose to place a cover call on this. Okay, so that's the game and that's the power of trading options. Remember, stay away from bad companies and penny stocks. I know as new investors and as beginner investors, it's easy to gravitate towards the penny stocks, but typically like I showed you guys at the beginning of the video, pick a company that's always trending upwards. Penny stocks doesn't have an upward trend. They typically never recover. And so my word of advice on that, if you can stay away from them, but I get it if you got to start off with that. So that's all I got for you guys today. Make sure to understand that selling puts is a great way to make monthly income. And for our question of the day, it comes from Timothy Moore and he says, hi, Chris, my name is Timothy Moore and I'm interested in being a successful motivational speaker. I have a real story of my life's negative to positive outlook and after being in my own way to express to the world. Okay, Timothy, I thank you for the question and you are in luck, man. I help guys every day with whether it's writing a book, whether it's becoming a paid speaker, whether it's starting your own business. If you guys is watching this video or still here and want any kind of help or support in that way, all that information is in the link below. But check it out, Timothy, man. I appreciate you reaching out. I am a firm believer that everybody has a testimony and what you've been through is meant to help someone else. The story isn't just for you. The things you've been through isn't just for you. And so I encourage any and everybody to share your story because you never know that what you've been through will set somebody else free. And so, man, if I can do anything to help you guys on your journey, whether it's investing or whether it's beyond the scope of investing, don't hesitate to let me know. That's what I'm here for. That's what I have dedicated my life to doing. And I just thank Timothy for reaching out. And I want to encourage if anybody else is out there looking at this and you got a similar question or a thought, don't hesitate to leave me a comment below. 
Make sure you hit me up on Facebook if you need to, or Instagram, or LinkedIn, or wherever. I promise I'm gonna add you in our next video and answer your question. So listen, man, I make videos like this every week. If you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result. Very few consider the journey. Do me a favor, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you grab some free stock below, and I'll see you in the next one.